Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here in the wood shop, finally putting the hickory cabinet to bed here. As you can see, it is finished. Uh, I did go ahead and I painted the back of the doors and the inside of the uh, cabinet here. The guy came by uh, the other day, and uh, or yesterday I guess, and gave me the uh, dimensions for the cutout there. There's the drawer front. And uh, I just sprayed on some urethane with my 1050 VR there. Once again, love that thing. Um, and also, uh, oh, urethane, my uh, pre-cat urethane. Here we go. Uh, I think I've shown in my other videos. This is my finish of choice uh, for, you know, non, uh, not going over the top of milk paint. Uh, I really like this stuff. I like it better than their pre-cat lacquer. Although they do have a, a conversion varnish. Uh, that I'm going to try. They, I just noticed that on their website and as soon as I only have a dribble in the bottom of that can and I think I'm going to try the conver conversion varnish next. It's a uh, two-part. But uh, anyway, yeah, so there's hickory with probably about six coats worth of um, oh, six coats worth of that urethane on it. Uh, what I like doing, I don't know if you can, well it's cooled off in here because I had the garage door open packing in 18 sheets of drywall, but what I do is I turn my heaters on full blast when I'm finishing like that and get it up to about 90 degrees in here and uh, it dries the stuff just like that. I mean you can spray a door or spray the doors, spray the drawer front. Uh, he also bought some trim over there and uh, wanted it sprayed so you know by the time I sprayed this stuff I could you know spray, go over there spray that stuff. I could go do the uh, carcass here without worrying about overspray and then you know by the time I'm done with that it's time to spray this again, so it's it works out really well. I do uh, sand between coats. Um, I'll run some 400 grit paper in my uh, ETS, <coughs> excuse me, 155 there, and the same for my uh, RO90 here uh, with you know the triangle pad in it uh, for the corners corners here. And uh, I really like the way it turns out. Uh, I just ended up using some. Uh, uh, Blum Hero hinges here, 35 millimeter half inch overlay hinges, and soft closers here. Just because it makes the customer think, gee golly, I got something cool when the doors close on their own. Anyway, um, yeah, so in the morning I'll come back over here and put this all together and get it ready to get out of here. And uh, the uh, customer is picking it up tomorrow, so I got to get everything put back together and ready to go so anyway what else is going on here yeah more plywood 18 sheets uh, i gotta start building some other cabinets here oh yeah more cabinets 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 i kind of like doing molding better because it's you know kind of brain dead and <coughs> goes faster and you just kind of run it get it out the door and get paid for it but the uh, cabinets are next and I, I have a question for anybody out there is um if anybody has tried using mdo uh for drawer bottoms i was you know at the hardware store the other day and looking at that and thinking you know hey that might make a good drawer bottom right now uh, i just use i don't know if you can see it back there right there just some sand ply um but uh, i was thinking about using drawer bottoms because it kind of fuzzed up in this one here and uh, I didn't really like the way it, uh, or the way it turned out. There's a little crack down there, not crack, but it was a split in the veneer <coughs> that I didn't notice until uh, you know I got the um, oh I got the uh, uh, paint on it there. So I'm, I think I'm going to start using uh, either you know like a maple uh, B4 core or maybe MDO. Uh, just kind of depending on whatever's cheapest at the time, but uh, kind of thinking I may do MDO since I like doing painted drawer boxes and also this Bosch blade. They were closing it out. It was like six, 60 bucks, I think, something like that. Anyway, I uh, really like it. Uh, I don't see a model on here anywhere. It's the Precision Woodworking Series. I just got it because it was cheap and I wanted a, uh, oh, I wanted a, uh, oh, there we go. Catalog number right there, PS1060 Lamb. Uh, I just kind of wanted something I could put in here if I was, you know, just packing stuff off. And didn't want to worry about, uh, you know, hitting a nail or, you know, anything like that. Because I have a couple projects coming up that are going to be using some reclaimed wood. And uh, just a cheap blade. But I actually rather like it. I just threw it in there today when I was ripping uh, some um, molding blanks to see what it was going to do. It's a uh, triple chip. Um, 
right there where you have a flat raker and a trapezoidal uh, trapezoidal grind. I really like blades like that, but it seems like it's kind of hard to find them uh, with a uh, positive hook angle. Uh, and this one was. So anyway, I like it. Um, it gets the Darlington Farm thumbs up. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing not everybody else likes them because they were closing them out. But I may go pick up uh, the other two they had there tomorrow. So anyway, I'm going home for the day. i got to go clean my paint gun. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, just let me know if there's anything else here you would like to see. And uh, I'll leave you with a shot of this cabinet. I really like the way it turned out. I kind of like the natural hickory look. Now, I will say the uh, pre-cat urethane there is a little bit yellow when you get a bunch of thick coats on it, but I think it goes well with this hickory.